Hi, I'm Ryan Kazakowski, owner of TFW, which is found on traditionalfilipinoweapons.com. Today, what I want to introduce to you is our new training Bowie, which represents the actual TFW Bowie knife, which I'm sure you have seen. Uh, we have a few videos on this particular knife. Very nice uh, knife, but it's nice to know how to fight with it and practice fighting with it. So we came up with a trainer to make that easier for you. It's nice to know how to fight with it. I mean, it's, it, you know, it's good for fishing, hunting, and survivalists in general. Uh, but, you know, if you have a big knife, it's nice to be able to practice with a big knife because people do attack you with big knives also. So what we'll do is we'll give you some demonstrations of some techniques uh, on how to use this Bowie. We'll start off with long range, working your way into close range. Okay, for this set of moves, what we're going to do is we're going to take a diagonal, a diagonal, a horizontal, and a horizontal, and an inward thrust. Basically, that's what people are going to attack you with, with a blade or an impact weapon. What you're going to notice is you're going to see how I angle my body when I get out of the way and I take an angle uh, step, approximately a 45 degree angle step. So, and I'm going to meet the force pretty much and hopefully chop off the arm. When he attacks, you can see how I cut there. I cut this way, I angle my body this way and I get out of the way for the thrust. Notice what I did. So when he comes in to thrust here, you can see how I get out of the way. So that's what makes it easy to get this knife. Okay, what I'm going to do for the second set, just to show you, we're going to take that angulated footwork and we're going to re-enter. The dangerous part of sword fighting, especially in Filipino martial arts, is that slash and thrust. Okay, that's the hard part to contend with, especially when you cut the arm and then you re-enter with the thrust, which is usually the kill. Okay, so uh, say when he comes in here, notice what I did here. See how I enter this way and I slash back out again. I like to trap the leg if possible. Okay, uh, the backhand angle, you can see how I take it this way. You can see I could, I, I could still uh, kick out and re-stab again or re-slash, cut off the arm. Okay, on uh, this one, I trap this way and notice where I step this time. Okay, you can see, whew, you know, you can take the arm, you, you can disarm this way. A lot of times you see the disarms this way, you know, and you can see he can pull down very easily. Okay, that's more from towel, but that doesn't matter what style comes from, right? So I come in this way. Notice I did this little crossada looking movement or gunting, some people might refer this to as, and I come in here and you can see right here, I can cut the body, okay? <laughs> and now you're here and you can cut and you can see the disarm is right there okay you're in a good position now he complied with me of course you do this live and uh, after you practice that for you know quite a bit of obviously and there's more to it than this I'm just giving you a basic idea but going live and trying to find your uh, your slash and thrust is important because most people when they spar and as soon as he slashes at me they just want to back up the whole idea is if he slashes here I want to try to get right in right away and you have to have the guts to get in there and try to you know follow up with your movements instead of just cutting and backing away you should keep your movement when you have a knife against another knife if it comes down to that kind of type of fight you don't want to hold your your knife like it's a popsicle stick, okay? You want to keep that moving, because this way, when he tries to cut my arm, it's always moving. And see where I am here. See, I'm always in a good position here. See what's happening? So, practice those moves. Okay, as you can see, we have, on traditionalfilipinoweapons.com, we have a lot of different training knives and swords. We have the training Bowie, we have the training Barong, the Espadi Daga, the Ganunting. We have a lot of different training knives, some that even fold. 
And uh, I mean, we use a lot of these training knives for uh, live sparring with gear. I recommend you wear a pair of glasses, a uh, pair of hand gear when you use these type of things so you don't get that hurt. I mean, a little pain is okay so you could recognize them and you know, tell the other person, hey, good shot, you know. And I recommend practicing. You can't just do techniques and drills all the time. You have to go live with it also. So you can find all these different things and high quality knives and swords on traditionalfilipinoweapons.com.